Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel. And I haven't uh, haven't really messed a lot with the park uh, this week. Of course, if you guys uh, you probably know, I've been like my house has been a disaster here for about the last three weeks. I'm kind of doing a little bit of remodeling, took out a big dining room wall, um, redoing the floors. So. Um, yeah, it has basically been a, uh, a construction zone here, and that did not leave a lot of time, or it still doesn't leave a lot of time for uh, for some Planet Coaster mischief, but I did end up, well, I was able to set down yesterday evening, finally just got to come home, no sanding, no mudding, no painting, uh, no measuring, I was able to just come home and uh, just play the game for a little bit because you know I kind of hate only getting one of these out once a week it seems like I can only uh seems like the last month or so I'm only getting out like one safari video every Saturday but hopefully once I get a little bit more of this wrapped up um I can get at least two episodes out a week and we can start moving um you know just moving a little more towards the finish I I'm not out of space but um you know the, the park is definitely um you know over the last you know, a couple months, it's it's come into its own now. So we've made a made a lot of good progress, had a lot of fun with it. Um, but yeah, so it, you know, to keep from ranting on any farther, I uh, I basically started the Chimp Island out here. So the whole idea of it was to kind of have like a you know a mysterious type of ruins and an island, you know, that the that the chimpanzees inhabit out here. And the guests can kind of flank it from each side and uh, yeah you know just kind of watch them do their thing throughout the day and i i kind of did um, you know wanted to make it to where we could give them enough little cover to kind of escape everything out there and uh you know get away from the people if they need to but still i, I like put a lot of their play equipment and stuff like that kind of more prominent up front um you know so as you're walking by kind of entice them to be out there a little more so the guests can get a good view then um, you'll notice uh, I don't know yeah here in here in a second I kind of peel off to the left and uh, I put a set of lockers over off to the left and we'll talk more about that um, when the uh, like when we get into the real time and then um, if you keep going straight kind of yeah, kind of right straight right um, towards the end of this path you're looking at I was thinking that would be a perfect perfect spot for an insect house so i know a lot of you guys were saying oh man you need a nocturnal house you need an insect house i kind of want to do both of those things but over here i think would be perfect for the uh for, for yeah for the for the insect house so we'll we'll get some kind of cool facade going uh maybe get the big uh you know the big scorpion out front or something you know we'll, we'll come up with something cool but uh you know as usual i have to give another big shout out to dead eye duck for his uh, for his awesome chimpanzee variations here i've got a foraging one i've got a straight standing one and i have a sitting version now and it is so cool when he comes up with the multiple versions instead of me just kind of having to repeat it out there so um, I never know what he's into like him and I we, we contact a little bit throughout the week or like he'll bounce ideas off of me or ask me what I think about this but a lot of times um, I am just as surprised as you guys are he just sends me a random message and bam we have chimpanzees so I knew that the uh, going into this I wanted a uh, essentially yeah like I said a chimpanzee island out there you know it's kind of like for the safety we'd have the we'd have the water features and maybe some little uh, natural deterrence to keep them from from uh, you know trying to make their way over here to the walls but we will uh, we'll keep with the story of we have uh, we have pretty pretty docile pretty timid pretty timid chimps here so I don't think they would be trying to storm the walls or anything so we'll we'll go with the natural kind of like the natural water barrier deterrent uh, we'll, we'll uh, th that's what we'll go with with uh, with chimp island here so um, that part right there that is where the uh, lockers go I don't remember if I actually put that in the real in the time lapse or if it was the if it was the real time yeah I think okay yeah I guess I do here in just a sec I was trying some different buildings out over here and I don't know if if I will end the path over there or if that will be transitioned to another land remember because we started talking I really want like an American land too I was thinking like a uh, Buffalo River Country uh, type, um, you know, North American uh, type of animal sanctuary out that way, you know, with like buffaloes, grizzly bears, uh, American gray wolves, 
Um, you know, uh, da- uh, Daddy Poe got us. I could put an eagle sanctuary out there. So lots of different, do- lots of different stuff I'm trying to come up with as far as a North American type sanctuary goes. So, but anyways, let's go ahead. A short time lapse this time. Let's just jump into the real version, and uh, we'll kind of get in here and talk about some of this stuff and and uh, get some of your all's feedback on us uh, moving forward with the safari park. All right, guys, so yeah, here we go. We've got the, uh, I've kind of got a, you know, a little bit of a narrow pathway here kind of coming into uh, into the chimpanzee sanctuary. So they basically, you kind of make your way down through here, like through these old ruins. And once you pass through this walkway, here are uh, here, here is our, our little family out here. So I thought it worked out pretty cool. I was actually, uh, this whole facade, like the, uh, th- this was actually started out as kind of a, a, a an abandoned cathedral, kind of like with, uh, with me and Beyond Drew and a couple other people, we have been uh, messing around with abandoned rides and, and scenery and stuff. And that is kind of what the, essentially what is the chimp sanctuary now, that's what this started out as. Um, it was, it was going to be like an abandoned huge cathedral with these, you know, massive walls and ceilings. And uh, I got I got one pretty good picture out of it. You may have seen on uh, on Twitter a couple days ago, but ended up just not really feeling it and uh, kind of essentially abandon it. And uh, I, I thought, oh, man. I would hate for that to go to waste, but, and that's when I thought, I have a perfect idea. Let's use it for the chimpanzee sanctuary. Let's make it look like it's, uh, you know, like forgotten, you know, ruins back there that they kind of, uh, you know, kind of like we're, we're really going like Jungle Book King Louie type with this. So I thought that would be really, really cool. So that that is kind of like the... Uh, the, the story of Chimp Island here. It start like this main little facade started out as totally something different and it was able to live again kind of over here uh, in the safari park. And then out this way too, I have uh, Leaf Scott's awesome little, uh, you know, Ewok trunks that I've used um, to kind of hold up Red Mist lockers over here. So kind of making your way towards the end, kind of like the edge area of, uh, of Chimp Island, you have a locker rental out there. So I thought that would be pretty cool, like if you're standing and waiting or while you're packing, you know, like while you're unpacking your stuff or leaving to get ready to go to the other, you know, other little sections of the park. Um, you will have a locker stopping point right there. So you wouldn't just have to leave your stuff necessarily kind of like way back over here at the uh, at the entrance of the park. I kind of wanted some lockers dotted out. So, you know, because obviously at the entrance of the park, those lockers they're going to be slammed. Everyone is going to be stopping, wanting to dump their stuff off and uh, kind of, you know, make their way through the, you know, through the rest of the park. So I thought that would be pretty cool to kind of have us some different little stopping points. Uh, maybe some of our little more seasoned guests know, hey, don't stop at the entrance lockers. At least, you know, at least make your way back here to the Safari Depot or, or you know, something like that. So I thought that was fun. And, and uh, re- really, re- like I said, big shout out to Red Mist for, for uh, creating us those lockers and uh, and putting those on the TMTK. So I still, another one of my, I think one of my favorite parts of this whole park has got to be this little cliffside market area up here. No matter what I do, I always end up coming back to this and just kind of flying around and looking around at just the way the colors come out and the layout and the splitting of the path. Um, and I, I think I definitely spent more time on this section. Like I've got Mwangas over here kind of anchoring the end of the land. Um, I just, I spent so much time over there and uh, it just, I think it really, really come out well. Um, Egypt, Egypt, the Cairo market area, don't get me wrong. I think it came out really, really cool, but I really, a couple weeks back, I think it was one of those deals where I rushed it to get a video out. You know how sometimes we do, like I hadn't put a video out in five days. So it got a little rush. The, the aviary, that come out cool. The splash pad saved it. But you can see I've still got a bunch of facades up here that don't even have windows, doors, uh, roof pieces, haven't even been decorated yet. So there's still um, there's still a quite a bit of work left to do over here. I've got uh, 
got Castaway's Camels in. Kind of got them like a little low budget, kind of low maintenance little pin over here that I showed you last time. Um, there's been a lot of kickback right here as far as the cheetah exhibit goes, um, being more so like this would be um, kind of like Jaguar themed more so than uh, cheetah theme so maybe we'll look at that maybe going in the future and seeing if we get other see if people design us like other types of uh, you know dead eye duck design us some different types of cats and maybe the uh, the jaguar type feeling would fit in a little better in this pen um, than us having the you know then you know than having the cheetahs over here because a lot of you guys were saying the cheetahs would have more open space it would be flatter obviously for them to run so yeah that is definitely some of your all's feedback that I have uh, that I've been thinking about and uh, hopefully we can we, we'll we'll get a fix to that and make that a little more realistic. And then remember too, when you leave the Cairo area, you move over here into Namboa Square, and it is like, a, like I said, like a hustle and bustle type South African, you know, Zimbabwe type uh, type town with the with the train running through it, and you've got the big uh, you've got the big uh, launch coaster over here. So a little bit more for the. Uh, you know, for the older crowd, I'd say the, you know, uh, get, getting a little away from the family rides over here. And uh, like I said, getting getting a little more, a uh, little more intense over here on this side of the park. And of course, too, um, it ties in really well with our lions being on this side of the park. So Deadeye said he's working on some females, uh, some cubs. So once he gets those um, on the workshop, we will uh, kind of enhance our little pride here and, you uh, and kind of bulk that up, get get the uh, get the actual enclosure enclosure finished, so you know the lions aren't escaping and trying to maul people up here. But yeah, so and if you didn't catch the the Pride Rock video, this is kind of like uh, you know the the uh, the lions peak type area. So you've kind of once you make your way into this area and you're looking at the lions, you've got uh, you've got lions peak back there in the background, kind of like the main first drop of the coaster. I thought was a uh, it was a pretty cool weenie for right there and yeah so like i said like we started the, uh, the 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 next little expansion is finishing up on uh chimpanzee island and over here getting us a really cool reptile or not excuse me not reptile insect house going so that'll be fun and like i said we don't know I, i've still got a lot of space over here this is a pretty good bit of space and then you see my line back there i think more over here will be cool to do uh to do buffalo river country and we'll you know because the uh the, the mountains and stuff from lion's peak kind of will help separate the north american area so i think it'll work out pretty cool and then of course the the, the chimp island mountains uh are a good separating point for buffalo river country so any of my animal modelers out there if you're thinking about doing uh if you're thinking about doing us some american animals i would greatly appreciate it uh, i'm talking wolves bears uh, black bears grizzly bears um, you know, uh, bison, any, anything buffalo, anything like that you want to come up with, um, I would greatly appreciate it to get to us so I could start on the, uh, start on the American area. And another thing too, Daddy Poe was working on some bear variations. Um, anybody out there working on them, I still, I, I really like your guys' idea of this being a panda exhibit, like a panda sanctuary, or a Komodo dragon type uh, sanctuary. So um, for anybody that's new, this is kind of like our, uh, this is our tiger sanctuary over here. And uh, so our tigers are down in this exhibit, and this is kind of like our East Asian, you know, um, you know, Bangladesh, Nepal, um, really mysterious type of, uh, you know, type of like little East Asian market area. So I thought, um, I, I thought what we would do is remember how I said in the last video. Here's the little, uh, here's the elephant, the African elephant sanctuary down here. I said in the last video we might get some shops and stuff put right here, but a, a lot of your guys' feedback said, man, we're loving the shops, but probably need to press the brakes on those a little bit and uh, just kind of focus more on some more sanctuaries because, like I said, we already have the, uh, we've got Namboa Square, we've got Cairo, we've got the cliffside market you've got the little regular shops here at the entrance so a lot of you guys were like we love the shops but maybe hold those off until uh until you get to the american area and then 
Um, somebody said, I think, in a video back, it would be cool to like incorporate like a Western, like a Red Dead Redemption 2 type shopping area to kind of go with the whole Buffalo River country, kind of like think, uh, think Montana, think, you know, great Western frontier uh, type, type stuff moving out that way. So yeah, I think that is what we'll do. I'll hold off and we won't do any shops around the chimpanzee area, but more so we will save that for uh, you, you know, for, for Buffalo River Country. And I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. Remember I was telling you how it's cool, like sometimes when the trucks make, the, like the safari trucks make their way down into the water. Well, that was this part right here. So that the trucks can kind of, you know, slush through that and then uh, they can make their way up into the rest of the uh, of the savannah plains here and then uh, we've got the little we got the rhino sanctuary over here that the trucks can make their way by and the uh, the uh, trains the elevated train position can be a really fun train ride especially with all the stuff that's being added they could see the chimpanzees all the savannah animals they come right by the lion exhibit They've got a good shot of, uh, of, of uh, Lion's Peak over here. It takes them right through a, a really cool tunnel, like through Namboa Square. And they, uh, you know, essentially get to make a big loop and, uh, and and they get to make their way through the rest of the town. One of you guys, it might have been Wolf Tenor, might have been a couple of you guys were saying it'd be really neat to have a nut, have a station right here as well. So the guests that, you know, the guests can really stop off um, they can really crisscross a big portion of the park because you see the the main station right here they can jump on that and come all the way over to the far ends of Namboa Square and get off and make their way into the uh, into the African area and ride the you know the larger coaster and all that so um, one last little update I'll give you before we jump out of here um, I think I will scratch the Main Street area and what I want to do is, um, you can see I've got the path kind of coming here and doing a real janky, uh, you know, uh, 90 degree turn. Um, I think what I'll do is all of this is going to be like a big, bowed entrance area. Um, instead of just doing, like I said, like giving you more shops in a main street, this will be a highly decorated like half moon entrance area with the ticket booths and the information centers and, st and stuff like that. And I, I figured I could do like a, like all of this out here will encompass the huge, really cool parking lot that I want to do. And then of course, we'll have a roundabout here for the buses and people dropping people off. But yeah, all of this out here can essentially be um, the, the big parking area. And this will will bend around as a, uh, a really cool half moon um, entrance area with maybe animal statues and, and stuff like that. So, and then of course we'd want to give it a large parking area. And I was thinking over this area, um, because you know, the, the, uh, the, the uh, Buffalo River country will be more over there. This could be a really cool backstage area that's kind of being saved over here. And then of course too, you know, as more animals pop up on the workshop, we can come up with, with different enclosures. You know, we'll have all of this space um, over here for certain animals. Uh, like I said, Buffalo River Country can go back here. Um, we, we've got room for log flume rides. Maybe Buffalo River Country's signature attraction can be like a swinging mine train or like a wooden coaster. But yeah, guys, like I said, just let, let me know your thoughts down below. You guys dictate, like I said, a lot of... Uh, of essentially, you know, what ends up happening with this park. So I'm always interested to see kind of what you guys say next or kind of what you want to see happen next or what have I forgot, you know, that hasn't been that hasn't been touched on or worked on. So yeah, just give me your thoughts down below on all of kind of what we're working on here and what we have going on. And uh, we will uh, try to get some of your ideas implemented. So anyways, guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me here for this uh, for this next little update and uh, yeah don't forget to smash that like button if you end up enjoying this series and don't forget to subscribe for more planet coaster content and i will catch you guys in the next video thank you see you guys